Hello, hello, I'm Josh from Wondershare Demo Creator and I'm back with another video. Today's video is about something that has become pretty common in the past few years and everyone's trying a hand at it. I'm talking about tutorials or how-to videos, just like the one I'm making now. So, how to go about it, how to decide what to include in the video, what to say and what not to say. I'll tell you all about it. But before we get to the details, it would be great if you subscribe to my channel. This way, you'll know when a new video is out and won't miss a thing. So, let's get started. Okay, so most people think that making a video tutorial is quite easy. You simply need to get your camera out and start recording. Well, that is part of the video making process, but there's much more to it. You can't just switch on your camera and start recording. You need to prepare for the video. You need to look at a few aspects before you make one. I'm not saying it's difficult. I'm just saying that you can easily create a video that attracts the audience with proper preparation. So the first aspect that you need to look at before making a how-to video is the audience. When making a video, you should know who you're making it for. Because once you have your audience sorted, you know exactly what to say and how to proceed with the content. For instance, this video is about making how-to videos using Wondershare Demo Creator. So I know pretty well that beginner YouTubers or tech marketers, people who want to create attractive tutorial videos, or anyone looking to start a career making how-to videos will definitely be interested in it. The second most important aspect is the type of videos you want to make. Do you want to make funny videos? Lifestyle videos? Makeup videos? Food vlogs? Because once you figure out the type of video you want to make, you can add the content accordingly. Like this video is a tutorial video, so my content will revolve around how-tos and step-by-step -step instructions. I'll tell my audience how to use Wondershare Demo Creator to create a video, complete with a detailed guide about its various features. Once you know the target audience and the type of video you want to make, you need to write a script based on these two aspects. I'm making a how-to video, Therefore, my content will be similar to instructional videos, covering all the steps from preparing and recording to editing and publishing. And to make things easier for you, I've prepared a template for how-to videos. You can find the link to the free fill-in-the-blank template in the description. So, how to use the template. Click on the link, download the template. As you can see, the template has spaces to write everything down in one place. There's a section where you answer the questions. Who's my audience? What problem will this tutorial solve? And what will the audience be able to do after watching this tutorial? Once you answer these cornerstone questions, it's time to move on to the next section, the narration. This is where you start introducing yourself and the topic. For instance, hey all, my name is Josh, and today I'll tell you how to use the free fill in the blank script template. Now you mention the primary purpose of the video. For example, if you're struggling with writing a script for your tutorial video, this video walks you through exactly what you need to do so you can write a compelling script, attract an audience, gain followers, and get views. Then you continue by telling each step required to write the script, just like I did at the beginning of this video. I told you the three important aspects to remember when making a video. Similarly, you'll write down each step explain it in detail, and summarize it a bit before moving on to step two. Wrap up the video by summarizing the whole topic in just a few sentences, mentioning the product's link in the description, and remind the audience to subscribe to your channel. And that is how you write a script for your video. In case you can't keep a track of the steps, download the free script template from the link in the description, which will really help you out. Now it's time to get down to business. It's time to get recording. How to make tutorial videos. So you've sorted out all of the basic things, you know the audience, you know what they're looking for in a video, and you've written a script according to that. So how to record the tutorial video. Step one. The first step in recording your video is setting up all the necessary equipment. This means the microphone, the background, the video recording tool, and of course, the editing tool. Set the microphone, make sure it's working, Set up the camera if you intend to record yourself and make sure that you have a nice clean background with no major distractions. Step two, we'll be recording our video using Wondershare Demo Creator. And there are two ways, using the all-in-one recorder option or using the video presentation option. Method one, all-in-one recorder. 
Launch Demo Creator and select the all-in-one recorder option from the interface. You can choose to record only audio. For this option, turn off the webcam and zone capture option and turn on the microphone and system audio option. Only webcam. Turn off the zone capture option and select the webcam from the interface. Only screen. You can turn off the webcam and click on zone capture option to select the part of the screen you want to record. Record audio, webcam and screen at the same time. Select all the options given on the screen to record everything simultaneously. Click on the red record button to start recording your video. Now, coming to the second method. Method two, video presentation maker. The second way of recording a video is via the video presentation option. You can record your screen or presentation as well as yourself or use an avatar instead. Here's how to use the video presentation feature. Launch video presentation option in Demo Creator. You can choose to record yourself using your device's camera or use an avatar. For this video, let's try out the avatar. Click on the plus in the upper right corner to import slides or choose share your desktop and select the window presenting your materials. Once you have imported the slides, click on the demo and record button on the top right and begin recording yourself and the presentation. Once you're done recording, it's time to give your video a glow up. Step three, we'll be editing our video using the one and only Wondershare Demo Creator Video Editor. Finish recording and you can click advanced editing and go to the editing workspace. Now click on the plus and select import media files to open your recorded videos into the editor. Alternatively, you can just double click the middle area to open a project. Click on voice in the timeline to add narration to your video. You can add effects, transitions, annotations, captions, stickers, filters, and audio to the video from the editing options at the top. Step four, if you wanna add some stunning effects to your video, check out the SFX store. It has a whole collection of pre-rendered effect packs that can turn a plain recorded video into something amazing. As you can see, the SFX store has plenty of packs. Just click on any one and see how it transforms your video. As we're making a tutorial video, let's search for tutorial and see what we get. This pack has plenty of tutorial effects that you can add to your video to make it watch worthy. Let's download and try out the tutorial video pack. There are plenty of pre-made captions, transitions and stickers to add a wow factor to your tutorial video and make it interesting. I'm just using this effect to show you how it works. You can search and download any pack from the SFX store according to your theme and content. Drag and drop the element you wish to use on the timeline. These templates have pre-made titles and elements with stunning animations, transitions and effects. You can create a striking and watchworthy video in a matter of minutes using these templates. So now you see how simple and easy it is to record and edit your videos by using Wondershare Demo Creator. Step five, your tutorial video is now ready. It's time to share it with the world. Click on export at the top right corner and save it to your PC or share it directly to YouTube, TikTok, Vimeo or Demo Air. You can also share it on other platforms by uploading the saved video from your local storage. And for everyone who's still watching, thank you. I've got a bonus tip for you. Bonus tip, step six. Now, there's a possibility that you'd like to make some changes to your video later on. For this, save your video to the projects. Click on file and save project to save it. Alternatively, you can press Control S on the keyboard or Command S on Mac to save it via shortcut. And that's it, that's all for today. We've covered everything there is to know about making a tutorial video, starting from the audience, the type of video and the script, all the way to the steps on using Wondershare Demo Creator to record and edit the video. So if you guys had fun and learned something beneficial from this video, go ahead, don't forget, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated about new videos. See you in the next one.